Hey guys, what's going on? Spipperix here, back for another LEGO video. Now, you may have noticed the recent influx of LEGO collaborations with other popular and well-known brands in the past year, such as IKEA and Adidas. But what about some of the less known brand collaborations with LEGO in the past? Well, in today's video, we will explore 10 surprising LEGO brand collaborations that you may have never heard about. If you go on to enjoy today's video, please take two seconds to leave a like rating down below. Your support is greatly appreciated. All right, let's get started. In 1983, McDonald's partnered with LEGO for the first time to release a few exclusive sets with their McDonald's Happy Meals. There was even a commercial advertising the collaboration and promoting the McDonald's Happy Meals that came with one of four LEGO sets to collect. They were basic models you'd expect as a fast food toy, but the selection was quite plentiful. There was a car, boat, helicopter, and an airplane, all of which consisted of approximately 20 LEGO pieces each. There were also four unique LEGO Duplo sets to collect for younger builders, and as you may know, Duplo is recommended for kids up to four years old. Due to the success of this first campaign, LEGO and McDonald's proceeded to collaborate eight more times between the years of 1984 and 2009. Here are a few of the most interesting releases. There were six unique LEGO Bionicle sets released in 2001, the terrible legacy of Galador in 2002, eight different LEGO Sports sets in 2004, and eight pretty cool LEGO race cars in 2009. I actually got one of these whenever I was young. Nowadays, LEGO promos at McDonald's have unfortunately slowed down, and LEGO does not include actual LEGO sets, but rather objects like plastic cups. This is due to new food laws and the potential for the LEGO bricks to pose a choking hazard for the kids eating. In 2009, LEGO collaborated with a Japanese brand called Muji to create a LEGO theme that combines both the traditional LEGO bricks and paper. These LEGO sets were initially released on November 26, 2009, but only available in Japan for the time being. They were officially made available to consumers around the world in November of 2011. The theme was based around the central idea of connecting paper together with LEGO bricks through the use of a unique Muji hole puncher, which creates stud-sized holes. Then the builder could attach the paper in between the two connecting LEGO bricks in order to add a delicate detail to the model. There were 14 unique Muji sets released from 2009 to 2011, and the various LEGO sets in the theme were all focused on different subjects, such as outdoor creatures, flying planes, and even a few special releases for the holiday, such as Christmas. By far, one of the most iconic LEGO collaborations took place when LEGO and Kellogg's teamed up to release LEGO-themed fruit snacks shaped like 2x2 LEGO bricks and, of course, Eggo waffles. After all, with the slogan, LEGO my Eggo, this collaboration was destined to be. These limited edition Eggo waffles were shaped like, well, LEGO bricks. They could be stacked like bricks and came in a special LEGO-inspired box. There was even a promotional release of boxes that included game codes for the LEGO Star Wars video game at the time. Unfortunately, the LEGO gummies did not match the success of the LEGO Eggo waffles. Soon after their release, they were removed from stores because they looked so similar to bricks that they were considered a choking hazard after incidents were reported of young children mistaking real LEGO bricks for the gummy snacks. LEGO worked directly with the crowdfunding business Indiegogo when they launched their experimental LEGO theme called LEGO Forma. Unlike most LEGO themes, LEGO Forma was an experimental theme that was launched as a crowdfunding collaboration project to end to see if LEGO fans would be receptive to a theme based around display sets. Basically, LEGO Forma was a prototype idea behind a LEGO theme targeted at adult fans of LEGO. The slogan of Forma was that the sets would, quote, add a splash of creativity to your day, which works well with the four sets that were released because all four were underwater themed. They contain large and elaborate models with what LEGO calls skins to completely refurbish the model if the builder desires. Despite the theme being extremely short-lived, the response was quite positive from LEGO fans. Oh, and the sets now go for double the price they were originally available for in 2019, so the LEGO fans who kept their sealed actually have a decent investment return, whether they realize it or not. The luxury brand Gucci partnered with LEGO certified professional Andy Hung to design a Gucci Sylvie bag that made completely out of LEGO bricks. In fact, it totals approximately 1,000 LEGO bricks. It was featured on Gucci's website and placed on display at the Gucci exhibit titled The Artist is Present, as well as the Shanghai Museum in China. 
Although there were no physical products for consumers to buy based on this collaboration of LEGO and Gucci, it did open the door, however, for possible Gucci and LEGO apparel collaborations, or perhaps sometime in the future, some other sets. Gucci doesn't seem to fit LEGO's target demographic at first, until you realize that some LEGO fans buy $800 sets. Yeah. On September 1st, 2020, LEGO announced via Twitter that they will be partnering with Levi's to create what they call wearable art. Through this collaboration with Levi's, LEGO and Levi's announced that they would release a hoodie, a flat-brimmed hat, a beanie, a few t-shirts, and of course, Levi jeans and a jean jacket. These various articles of clothing include a flexible LEGO base plate made of silicon, directly sewn on them. These allow for custom LEGO designs to be built, and therefore LEGO fans can customize their clothing using small LEGO bricks. LEGO describes this feature as, quote, a collaboration of nostalgia, playfulness, and creativity, which I think describes these LEGO Levi's products perfectly. Also, it makes perfect sense why LEGO finally decided to introduce an official LEGO hat, because prior to this, the market has been dominated by knockoff brick brands with hats that can be built on. You probably wouldn't expect to see that LEGO partnered with a restaurant that makes subs, but that's kind of what happened. Although no LEGO sets or official consumer products came out of this LEGO display at Subway, in 2015 LEGO builder Bruce Lowell was commissioned by Lay's and Subway to create a LEGO creation of a Subway 6 inch sandwich, a fountain drink, and a bag of Lay's potato chips. Now why did they want such a LEGO creation like this you may ask? Well this special LEGO display was meant to celebrate Subway and Lay's 50 year partnership. That's why you always see Lay's products in Subway restaurants. The model is quite large with the soda measuring 34 inches tall. That's a massive drink. But the real challenge is, can you name every ingredient on the sandwich? Try to guess in the comments below. IKEA is one of the newest brands to partner with LEGO and release exclusive products. In 2020, IKEA and LEGO teamed up to create and release a range of simple storage solutions for kids and adults inspired by creativity and play. As a whole, these sets are officially called Big Lek, which include multiple sizes of LEGO boxes for storage and play. Now, that may sound like a strange name because it's a Swedish word which loosely translates to building game or simply build. There's also a fourth set, which is more of a standard LEGO classic box of bricks. It includes 200 LEGO pieces and a brick separator. Let me know what they comment if you have any of these LEGO IKEA sets and what you think about them. You may recognize Lego and Crocs together because it's one of the most well-known. You've probably seen Lego Crocs at some point. Although the exact date is unclear, Lego seems to have started working with Crocs in 2012, with their first Croc clogs releasing in 2013. You can still buy Lego-themed Crocs online, but not directly from the Crocs website, as they were discontinued around the time Crocs was going through financial difficulty in 2017. In fact, it was the second time they almost went bankrupt. But since then, the business has rebounded thanks to Crocs being incorporated in more streetwear and style trends lately. The LEGO Group partnered with Google to create a web-based application called Build with Chrome. It allowed users to explore and build a world of LEGO digital creations. Originally, Build with Chrome was created by a group of Google developers from Australia, specifically for the LEGO Festival of Play in June of 2012. However, LEGO and Google decided to open it for everyone in 2014 and add special features that allowed users to share their LEGO creations. Even more amazing was its ability to allow the user to build in any location in the world. It was basically Google Earth, but for building LEGO. Or if you're familiar with the game Minecraft Earth, Build with Chrome shared the same basic idea behind it. Build in any location on Earth, explore the world to see other people's creations, and share your own with the rest of the world. Unfortunately, Build with Chrome was discontinued in 2019. Although it definitely wasn't a failure, in my opinion, LEGO and Google could have taken more initiative to promote and publicize Build with Chrome so that more LEGO fans and creative builders could have learned about its neat features before it was shut down. Perhaps in the near future, LEGO and Google will work together again to create something even more advanced. If you enjoyed this video, let me know with a like rating and also comment your favorite LEGO collaboration in the comments below. I'm Spitbricks, be sure to subscribe to the channel for more LEGO content, and I'll see you guys in the next video coming very soon.